Well, personal protective equipment has been in short supply for weeks. And while it's getting better for many doctors and nurses on the front lines, many still deal with dangerously low stock. But that changes tomorrow. CBS 19's David Lippman shows us how. We became aware quite quickly when we got into the pandemic that our doctors were short on PPE. Uh, we did a poll and uh, clearly 60% of them had less than a week's worth of PPE on hand within their offices. Dr. David Flieger, president of the Texas Medical Association, said hospitals were getting around 96% of all the gloves, gowns, and masks being distributed by the state. They, of course, have the highest priority because they need to be prepared to take care of the sick, sickest patients. Around half the doctors in Texas work in their own clinics, many of them in small towns. They were left empty handed. That's why the TMA partnered with the state, other trade organizations, and county and regional agencies to launch an online portal where doctors can go and easily request what they need. The PPE should start flowing tomorrow, and we're hoping that a doctor should be able to, after a couple days, actually see a delivery. Dr. Flieger said the shipments may be small at first, but they'll provide a lifeline until more supplies are available. And the timing is critical because Governor Abbott eased restrictions on elective procedures and tests just last week. We'll be able to get them moving, get those patients protected in the offices, get the employees and the doctors protected, have everybody uh, get, get uh, to seeing patients again. Which is good for the health of our doctors and nurses and all of us. We've got you covered, East Texas. David Lippman, CBS 19. Dr. Flieger also said the state is installing six machines, just like the one at UT Tyler, that sanitizes N95 masks. Each one of them can clean around 80,000 masks per day.